Okay then, so what I'm going to do today on Blender is I'm going to actually create a kind of wavy uh, appearance like you see here that I've done um, out of a plane. Now, the reason I've done that is when you're building stuff, you want reusable parts that you can just get together and put into other projects and then uh, just build upon. Otherwise, you're going to create the same effect time and time and time and time again. You don't really need to, so you're going to save yourself a lot of hassle by following this. Right. So we're going to create a corrugated effect, which later on you could use for corrugating cardboard or iron if you're building a project. Uh, to do this, we're going to keep it nice and simple. We're just going to delete that, uh, that plane, and then I'm going to add a mesh, and I'm going to get a flat one. And then, as you can see, it, it's right in the middle, and this is going to be really useful if you keep it right in the middle, because you can actually use these guidelines on the background. So we're going to enter edit mode. I'm going to very quickly just subdivide this to death. Uh, smaller the better really, smaller as you can cope with it, although you don't need to go completely over the top. Um, click one of the faces, so have faces selected, and then just press control and highlight basically all of the faces right slapping the middle of the plane. You can see which ones are in the middle through the green line there. Okay, then what you're going to do is up here make sure your proportional editing is turned on so it'll be highlighted and it'll have lots of rings and then you're going to drop this down here and I see we've got things like smooth sphere root and we've got different ways that we can actually bend this material I'm going to go for a curve because I want a nice regular curve okay I'm going to press one so that I get a perfect side view and then I'm going to press G then X and can you see how we've got this ring around now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this in. I'm going to pull it in quite tight now. And then I'm basically going to hit my middle mouse button. And can you see how when I pull downwards, and try if you can to keep that kind of, this one here, nice in the middle, this line that drops down, nice and in the middle. And then pull it down however many of these squares you want, just to make a nice regular curve. Uh, if I want corrugated iron might not want it too steep on the curve um, so three might do it and then once you've got done it right just press enter to lock it in place okay and when, when you come out of the view as you can see we've got now a nice curve uh, now I could obviously deal with these parts here now as well but I don't really need to because actually I can just delete them now so I'm just going to delete all of those delete all those faces mm -hmm. Uh, if you've got any hanging over, just highlight them all like I did before. And then on this one, it might be best if I go into top down view so I can be a bit more precise here. The faces. And there we go, we've got this nice curve now, perfect little curve. I'm going to select all that I can see there. Okay, and now I've basically got this nice little curvature. I've got the first part of my corrugation now. What we can do is we can reuse that just time and time again. If I actually just save that now, I've got a corrugated layout ready for using. Uh, it's a nice curve and can be used for a lot more things than just corrugated cardboard and iron, but it's a starting point. Now, you might think, though, well, that is a tiny bit thin for corrugated iron. Well, okay, we can fix that. We can so highlight it all by pressing A, and we can head over to here. To the modifier properties and we can add a modifier and then we might decide okay so i need to solidify it and that can you see it slightly increased the width of the the edges so now it looks thicker um, and i can increase the thickness to however much i want i mean if you could even use this as a pipe really couldn't you if you wanted to and it would create a nice little pipe okay and again there we go you've got it all nice and thick now Okay, one more little thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to select it all again, I'm going to go into object mode, I'm going to control C, control V, and I'm going to go on to move, I'm going to move it upwards, and then I'm going to actually rotate this around fully. And if I rotate this around 180 degrees, there we go, and lower it back down again. 
should see that these fit together. Now, what we can do is if we want to create that proper feeling now that it's a single entity, this is where you're going to have to be a little bit more careful, a little bit, you know. So that they're actually touching now at the joints, and then all I need to do is highlight them both, and then Control and J, and those planes now get merged so they are now permanently a single object. And that's it. I've now got the kind of start of a, a nice wavy, and the good thing is, is I can expand that as many times as I want. I can also, if I need to, obviously resize it, and if I want that longer, I can do, I can make that longer and longer and longer, but the idea is on this, is that I'm creating a resource I can use for later. I've now got, if I save it, a corrugated um, structure, really. Uh, I can use that later on. I can build house roofs and all sorts, obviously. Uh, when I want to, I can kind of rotate the actual model. So if I do need it at an angle, I would just rotate it to an angle and then build it back upwards. And I can just import and export that to whatever I want to. So I could even now, obviously, save that. Uh, I could export it as an object, turn it as an FBX, and then it's there ready to move into other projects in the future. Uh, in the in some future tutorials, I'll actually show you and prove to you how easy it is to work by moving it into other projects. So there we go, a nice, simple and quick tutorial about how to actually bend materials, how to thicken them, and how to actually use it to create a reusable structure for your future progress. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing so I can carry on doing it and obviously hit that like button and any comments you want to put in below uh, if you want to see me actually try something with this I'd love to love 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 it if you just comment below thanks for watching